Good morning, everybody. So today's plan was to get up and go to the cash point to get some money before going to the bus station to get my bus to go to El Nido. It's never good when your day starts off badly. Oh gosh, the day's starting well. I've got my card stuck in the machine. I can't get it out. Thankfully, a kind passerby helped me out and managed to yank the cards back out of the machine's clutches and I headed off to the bus station. Ready to get my bus to El Nido. Okay, this is the third bus I've been on. They keep moving me from bus to bus to bus because I'm one on their own. It's always people that want to sit next to each other so I get shifted from one to the other to the other but hopefully this is the final time and we'll set off soon. We've just made a stop at this little restaurant with a rather nice view. Okay, my ATM woes are seen to follow me. I think what it is, one of the ATMs is maybe just for local cards and I was having a right trouble trying to get any money out. So I went and found another ATM and I tried to put various amounts in but it didn't seem to like them and I was talking to another guy that was struggling too. So we dropped it down to 4,000 pesos and that seemed to like it. I don't know if they've got a limit set to them and all only allowed so much being withdrawn at any one time. So anyway, we found the ATM. We managed to get some money out. So all's looking good. Maybe I'll go and grab a drink or some lunch now because it is, I believe about 12 o'clock. This is my dorm room in Friends, and I've got a bottom bunk. This is me in here. It's nice, you've got your own personal light and two plugs just down here. There is also a ensuite toilet, some hanging areas. Hello. And a shower as well. We I think that's shampoo and body wash as well. The view out the window isn't anything special. We have a tree, a few shops. And I'm in this one down here. But just a quick note, the stairs to the top bunk. They're really nice as well. They're kind of like wooden areas and you can put different bits on there as well. Each bed has its own locker as well, which is nice. Good evening everybody from El Nido in the Philippines. It's been a lovely day. I travelled up from Port Barton to El Nido and I will put the cost of the bus up here for you. I got to my hostel which is Friends for three nights. I will put the price up here again. So I'm now in a bit of a conundrum because the Philippines is stunningly beautiful but it is definitely more expensive. What with my disaster on my flight, shall we say that funds have dwindled. I would love to go diving but because I had to buy an extra flight 
and with my health insurance coming out again soon, I'm going to have to be a little bit more sensible. So I thought, do you know what? I bet there are lots of people that would like to come to the Philippines on a limited budget. So why don't I try and find low cost or free exciting things to do? Wow, look at that. The hustle and bustle of the town and above it, those limestone cliffs. It's just amazing. El Nido is beautiful. So I've walked down to the local end of town. Been sat here for two minutes and a little girl's come up with a little hand out saying, can I have something for food? So I've given her one of my noodles. This is a very different El Nido to just round the corner. Actually, sometimes you've got to look at these things as a blessing because if I'd had enough to do the tour, I would have sat on the tour with everybody else. Sat here looking at part of El Nido that I would have never seen before. I just stopped here at this little restaurant for burger and chips. This is all the people from my hostel that are going off on the island hopping tour today. Good morning. I thought this morning I would walk down to Karong Karong Beach. And as I was walking past, I found this little hostel with the most beautiful gardens. It looks lovely. Anyway, onwards and upwards. It's about 1.5 kilometres to the beach so I thought rather than taking a tuk-tuk taxi I would walk. So I haven't walked very far and I tell you what the views of those mountains behind the little shops are spectacular. They really really are. I just I'm in awe of these mountains. They are so beautiful and actually if I'd taken a little tuk-tuk I would have never been able to stop and have a proper look at them so I'm really pleased with my decision. Oh wow. I found my own personal little piece of heaven. This is stunning. Well, the beach, compared to some of the others, isn't the best. It's slightly gritty and the water is very shallow. There are a lot of boats, but I've walked the whole length of the beach. I'll put the name of it up here because off the top of my head right now, I can't remember it. But I think if I carry on down there for about another 35 minutes walk, I will get to another beach, which I believe by looking online, it's a lot nicer. It's more white sand in a little cove, I think, but I'm not sure. But I've just stopped here to have a little rest because I'm exhausted. <laughs> I haven't been walking more than about half an hour and I'm exhausted already. <laughs> right, let's take a rest and carry on. So on my walk here, I managed to find an orange, two apples, four bananas and two hard boiled eggs. So all the fruit together was 110 pesos and the hard boiled eggs were 20 pesos each. Oh my God. This is delicious. 
oh my god, I didn't realize how hungry I was. Cheers. Oh, well done, you've caught quite a few fish. Wow. Super. So I've just asked the lady if I can walk the whole length of the beach round to the other bay and she said no there's no way to get through because she's just walked to the end but pointed out these stairs so these stairs will take me back up to the road where I can walk along the road and round to the next bay so let's go okay this bit's a little steep in places Another hill to walk up. <laughs> oh my word, I can just see a glimpse of it. It looks stunning. Okay, I think I've hit civilization again. <laughs> I wonder what makes me think that. I've made it down to this beach. Let's hope it's worth it. way to the beach there are certainly enough places to offload any extra cash that you have but wow it's beautiful Well, that was a complete fail. I have just realized for the whole batch of videos coming up, there is no sound because I forgot to turn my microphone on. So what you're gonna get now is me just talking over the top, telling you what's going on. <laughs> I've walked to the farthest point and the view is amazing. The water is crystal clear so on this part, I think what I'm saying is that I've reached the sandbar on the furthest part and it is just stunningly beautiful. And I'm now going to turn the camera around so that you can see exactly what I'm looking at. And I am completely lost for words, which is what I really am, lost for words, because there's no sound. <laughs> It's a bit like a Robinson Crusoe island. It was really beautiful. And now I'm going to walk back across the sandbar before the tide comes in and go and have a little sit over there and maybe read my book. All along the beach, there are little places that you can rent out on stilts looking right across the water. They are so beautiful. They really are. So there's a couple I've managed to get pictures of the telephone numbers and I will put them in here as well. That was a bit of a three, two, one, everybody run for it. So now what you've got to do is line up all your bags and they'll bring a dog and the dog will walk up and down 
and inspect the bags, make sure that there's nothing in there that shouldn't be. So you go and check in and pay 20 pesos and then you come here to check in again. It looks like that's our boat. Goodness me, that's home for the next five hours. We're on the boat, we've got a seat, top deck, right at the front, all's good. Next five hours, this is us. So everybody is boarding and this is Inga, <laughs> who I met while we were waiting and we've kind of buddied up and sat next to each other. So for the next five hours, this is where we're going to be. After one of the worst journeys ever, we've arrived five hours later. Oh, we've got our bags back. Yay! Now we've got to go and make our way out of the port and find a taxi to the hostel. And I'm going to sleep like a brick and I'm really hungry as well because I've just had two bananas and an apple today. Right, let's find it. Oh my word, I am having the absolute best time. <laughs>